Hey guys, Rishnardis here, and as I said, I'm going to upload this free comic day and Alton Condi Sink um, Hall the same day. So, hey guys, it's free com. So, yeah, I went to free comic day yesterday, and I would just say it's like, for a second comic day, second free comic day, it was, it was awful. Yeah, this is my second time I'm going to free comic day. I started collecting last year, and I was so pissed off. There was only two different com two different free comic books they had. They were all sold out. I really wanted to get the Walking Dead free comic day because in that in that comic book it features it features a backstory of Ty Reese. And you can only get it in that comic book. It's never gonna be reprinted ever again. So yeah, let's start so first we got Superman, Son of Krypton. Pretty good actually. I, I can't wait to for Superman Unch Unba Unchained, I believe. Yeah. Or Unbound, I forgot. So yeah, I can't wait to get to for that one to come out. Then we got Infinity um with um with writer Jonathan Hickman and artist Jim Chung Jim Chung. Yeah, I met him on, on Baltimore Comic Con last year. He was a pretty good man. He's finally doing some art now in this amazing series that's gonna come out. So yeah, there there was absolutely no discounts in for me because um it has to be like new comic books. Even though these are new, they didn't offer me no they offer me no no discounts because it was my subscription, so let me just um put this right here. <clears throat> so yeah, first up, I decided to get Thief of Thieves number ten. I became a big fan of Thief of Thieves ever since I read number one, the, the reprint of the image first. So yeah, uh, uh yeah, I got this one. And as you, <clears throat> sorry guys, as you can see, I'm using Silver Age bags. I ran out of current size, so yeah, I'm gonna try and look for those. Then we got Justice League number nineteen. Who's killing? Super, who's killing Superman? You flip it out, and it's like a spoil, spoiler thing. Actually, th actually, this is not a spoiler. It's like all incorrect. So, yeah. Then we got Hawkeye number ten. As as I said, I added this to my to my pool list because I got into Hawkeye since I read issue one for my birth for, as a birthday gift for my cousin. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I added this. It's been so awesome. And my comic shop is sold out every single Hawkeye. It comes like if it comes if it like comes out, everybody it's all sold out that same day. So next we got Superior Spider Man number eight. Yeah, I added this to my pull list. It's been so awesome with um ever since Umberto Ramos um came out for the art has been so awesome. And then we got Age of Ultron number six. Different artists this time. Um it's kinda good a little bit. It kinda looks like Brian Hitch Brian Hitch's art in the book. So yeah, um, didn't quite think I lost myself because I haven't read Age of Ultron in a long while. But thankfully, they have that thing that says previously in Age of Ultron that kind of tells me a little bit. So yeah, um, this is pretty awesome. Then we got Age of Ultron book seven, which um, got kind of confused. But remember that thing that everybody says if you like go back in the future and change something, it affects the it it, it affects the present. I think this is kind of like what happens here. If you know what I mean, if you read Age of Ultron, so yeah, only three three issues left in the book is book is got and the book is um done. So after I went to my local comic book shop, oh I forgot to show you this. They were like handing out this free twenty five percent off coupons for only one comic book. So are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, only for one comic book. That's not even worth it. So I went. So I went to a different comic book shop where. Where if you if you guys don't remember, I showed you guys that I bought a copy of Secret Wars number eight for twenty five bucks in that store, and decided to go there, and I found awesome books for only cover price, which are like um, going for some money on eBay or some sort. So first up, um, I found a copy of Hawkeye number seven. I heard this is about Hurricane Sandy, so I'm pretty. Oh shoot! Let me just um, put some books out. I think you probably just saw those, so yeah. So yeah, I got Hawkeye number seven for cover price. This is about Hurricane Sandy, so yeah, it was pretty awesome. Then I found a copy of Saga number five for cover price. I can't believe I found it, but the only, the only bad thing there is it got it's got this little bent right there. Let me just focus on that. Oh, that that just made it worse. worse. There you go. So that's the only bad thing in that, but thankfully I got this for cover price. Uh, I'm loving Saga so far. Yeah, I'm trying to get all of them, including the number one issue for, including the number one issue, 
So next up, we got Saga number seven for cover price. I think you can see that bend right there. That's the only thing about that. That's the only bad thing about the comic shop. Like most of their comics is mostly like on this rack that has like this thing right here. Like there's a thing right there that holds it and that and that just damages it. So yeah, I got this chapter seven saga. Then I got saga chapter eight. Awesome. I love this I love this cover. So yeah, that's my that's the haul I got for a free comic book day. It wasn't it wasn't that bad, but yeah, I ended up getting some cool comics. So I need to tell you guys about something. I'm uh, probably gonna say update here. Um, I decided to make um, Blu-ray hauls ever since um uh, ever since I got <clears throat> ever since I, ever since I got a Blu-ray player and I got into Blu-rays. Um, there's a lot of people on YouTube that do Blu-rays too, movie reviews. Some I'm gonna put some links down like Geek Dot Sim. The guy is awesome. He shows comic books too. He shows comic books, video games, and movies, and Blu-rays. So. Check that guy out. I'm going to put the link down below. So go check him out. He talks about comic books too. Yeah. So so next time I'm going to do some Blu-ray hauls. Like I'm going to show you guys. Let me just take my phone out of my tripod. I have all these Blu-rays here. And I got. Let me just move my Mountain Dew Kickstart out of the way. I got the Avengers um, Best Buy exclusive. So yeah. I'm going to talk about like Blu-rays and movie reviews. Um. I went to see Iron Man 3 yes, um, yet two days ago on Friday. Let me just light that up. Let me show you guys. It likes, you can't see because it's daytime. But, so yeah, I'm going to um, I'm gonna start doing Blu-rays and movie reviews, starting with um, Iron Man 3. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do movie reviews and Blu-rays now. So, what do you guys think? So, peace out, guys.